Hi, I'm Richards from Daily's Walk Behind Tractors. Uh, I'm standing here in one of our grossly unmanaged uh, raised bed growing areas. And uh, I guess that thing will tend to happen when you run a small business and you have like 35 kids. Uh, well, I don't actually have 35, but it seems like it. So, in any event, uh, I've got a Grillo G85D uh, tractor here with the 27 inch tiller on it. Um, typically I'm using power harrows, but I didn't have one handy. I thought this would be a good time to uh, do a video with the Grillo uh, tilling. And there's not many videos out there of them, I think, other than perhaps the Grillo Italy uh, website videos. Uh, so, it, and it, if you are you showing the raised beds, Michelle? So, this little spot here is on a slope. I don't know if you can tell, it's so uh, grossly mismanaged with weeds and stuff everywhere because we've gotten busy. Well, there's about nine raised beds, terraced raised beds, and I'm going to, just because we need to plant some cucumbers and tomatoes right quick just for my family, I'm going to go ahead and till a couple of them to do that and, and to get this little video. But then what I'm going to do is tarp all of these, and then I'm going to re-video it in a couple weeks and see how the tarps do with all this stuff. We've got a bunch of nasty stuff, including Johnson grass in here. Um, so that would be pretty neat to see. Uh, at least I think it will be. So, um, I guess uh, this machine right here, so like I said, it's a 27 inch tiller. The Grillo tiller has uh, the Bolo style tines like the Troy built. I think, uh, in, in my opinion, that's pretty much where it ends with comparisons to the Troy built. I think it's just a, no comparison between the two with the Grillo being such a much better machine. Yeah, it's so scalable. Yeah, you got some, buddy. Good job. Uh, this thing's very adjustable. As you can see, there's all kinds of holes on the top right here. You can, we can actually move this thing out. I mean, ideally, if I'm running a tiller, which I don't often, I would, I would expand this out to 30 inches because my beds are roughly 30 inches. Take it easy, Joshua. Trying to do a video here. Um, height adjustment on the Grillo tillers, quick and easy. One hand. And this is just their height. Um, this particular machine, I stuck a, a front suitcase weight on there because we have the quick hitch. And just to make it super easy at the end of my rows, since I'm just cultivating anyways. Joshua, good in here, son. Um, yes, that's about uh, about it. Just check out the check out the tilling, and um, yeah, then I'll add on to this thing in a couple weeks after we tarp this area. Uh, thanks for watching. Happy growing, and God bless. Bye bye. Uh, I forgot to mention. So this is a uh, probably 2016 year. Uh, Actually, not probably. It is uh, G107D. So Grillo has lengthened the handlebars. They changed the clutch style. This still has the older clutch style. You see your clutch lever down here. Didn't have what they could now call the active clutch. So if you're buying a new G85, G85D, G107D, even a G110, they all now have the active clutch, which you notice, that, which is the clutch lever sticks straight up, and you have to in, uh, interact with it like this and bring your hand down. There's no lever up underneath the hand grip. Um, handlebars are a little bit longer, and you're offset. Um, so that you can walk off to the side of your tiller. Uh, they have a different style lever on that. It's located underneath the uh, hand grip in place of where the old clutch used to be. Uh, so it looks a little bit different. It has some better balance. I like the lever that they have better on the new ones to offset the handlebars. So just FYI on that. Okay. Yeah, you got a bunch of the, that stuff, buddy.